A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess is a dystopian novel published in 1962. The story is set in a futuristic and violent society and follows the life of Alex, a teenage delinquent with a penchant for ultraviolence. The novel explores themes of free will, morality, and the consequences of state-sponsored behavioral conditioning. Here's a detailed overview of the storyline. 1. Introduction to Alex and his drugs. The novel is narrated by Alex, a 15-year-old boy who serves as the leader of a gang of delinquents known as drugs. The story is set in a dystopian future where societal decay, youth violence, and moral degradation are rampant. Alex and his drugs engage in acts of ultraviolence, which include brutal assaults, theft, and vandalism. 2. The Ludovico Technique After a series of violent exploits, Alex's criminal activities catch up with him. He is arrested and given the choice between serving a long prison sentence or undergoing a psychological conditioning program known as the Ludovico Technique. Alex chooses the latter, hoping for a quick release and not fully understanding the consequences of the procedure. 3. The Ludovico Treatment The Ludovico Technique is a form of aversion therapy intended to condition Alex against violence. It involves administering a drug that induces nausea while forcing the subject to watch violent and disturbing images. This association between violence and sickness is meant to deter Alex from engaging in violent behavior. The treatment is conducted under the supervision of Dr. Brodsky and Dr. Brenham. 4. Alex's Reconditioning As a result of the Ludovico technique, Alex becomes physically ill at the mere thought of violence. The treatment is a success in terms of eliminating his violent tendencies, but it also robs him of his free will and autonomy. He becomes a mere puppet, incapable of defending himself or making choices. The state, represented by the Minister of the Interior, uses Alex as a pawn in its political agenda, claiming success in rehabilitating criminals. 5. Betrayal by the Government While undergoing the Ludovico treatment, Alex becomes a victim of political manipulation. The government, eager to demonstrate the effectiveness of its rehabilitation program, uses Alex as a public relations tool. However, the government's intentions are not genuinely focused on Alex's well-being, but rather on using him to justify its policies and silence dissent. 6. Alex's Mistreatment With his ability to choose and act on his own desires eradicated, Alex becomes defenseless in the face of mistreatment. He becomes a target for those who hold grudges against him for past offenses. The novel portrays the irony of a rehabilitated criminal who is now at the mercy of those who once feared him. 7. Attempted Suicide The loss of his autonomy becomes increasingly unbearable for Alex. Tormented by his inability to make choices, he attempts suicide by jumping out of a window. The fall leaves him severely injured, and he is taken to a hospital. The suicide attempt marks a turning point in the story, leading to Alex's eventual rejection of the Ludovico technique. 8. Rehabilitation and Regaining Autonomy While in the hospital, Alex starts to regain control over his own thoughts and actions. The Ludovico treatment is revealed to be reversible, and Alex's innate sense of free will resurfaces. He rediscovers his love for classical music, which had been part of the Ludovico aversion therapy, and begins to find solace in artistic expression. 9. Confrontation with his past As Alex rebuilds his life, he encounters various figures from his past, including former drugs and victims. The interactions highlight the complexity of redemption and forgiveness. Some characters seek revenge, while others extend empathy and forgiveness. The novel explores the blurred line between good and evil, suggesting that rehabilitation is a nuanced process. 10. A New Beginning The novel concludes with Alex contemplating his future. Having rejected both his past life of violence and the dehumanizing effects of the Ludovico technique, Alex expresses a desire for a fresh start. 
The closing chapters suggest the possibility of redemption and personal growth, leaving the ultimate resolution open-ended. 11. Themes and Symbolism A Clockwork Orange is rich with themes and symbolism. It explores the concept of free will and the ethical implications of using behavioral conditioning to control human behavior. The novel delves into the moral ambiguity of punishment and rehabilitation, examining whether true redemption is possible if it is forced rather than chosen. In summary, Anthony Burgess's A Clockwork Orange is a thought-provoking exploration of morality, free will, and the consequences of societal attempts to control and manipulate behavior. Through the journey of Alex, the novel challenges readers to consider the ethical implications of state-sponsored conditioning and the importance of individual autonomy in the face of societal decay. The story is a powerful commentary on the complexities of human nature and the pursuit of redemption in a dystopian world.